Alright, and welcome back to another hacking tutorial from Stealth Data Zero. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to hack Wi Fi with Parrot OS. Now, you might not notice, you know, that might have been the first thing you noticed that I'm not using Kali Linux. Now, this tool, Armageddon, is available for Kali Linux, but it's, uh, you're going to need to, um, download some dependency so it's app get install and then the name of the dependency um and parrot os it's ready to go um i'm new to parrot os so if i make any mistakes please bear with me um if you're looking for any advice over which is better um i would say parrot os is definitely the best alternative to kali linux um my kali linux box is fast but this seems to be a little bit faster than my uh kali linux box um, it also seems to be a little bit more, more secure, but it seems to be a little bit more complex to use. So I would suggest beginners definitely using Kali Linux. Um, it also has some really cool tools on it, like some Bluetooth hacking tools, um, some uh, car hacking tools, radio hacking tools, and some RIFD tools. Um, so it has some really cool tools on it and Wi-Fi hacking tools um, that Kali doesn't have pre-installed. So I would say um, to use both if you can. Um, if you're new to this, definitely use uh, Kali and then uh, move your way up to Para OS. Um, if you don't want to use Kali and you want an alternative, then this would be your best bet. Now, without talking too much more about Para OS and Kali, uh, let's get started hacking some Wi-Fi. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need is a word list. Um, I'm using the Rock UTXT word list that comes with Kali Linux. Uh, you can get word lists from online um, if you Google search for them. Or make your own word list if you know something about the person that you're going to be hacking. Their Wi-Fi, like their favorite football team or their birth date, their phone number. Put all of those things on a list and use it. Um, maybe add it to uh, a list of known passwords or the Rock UTXT password that has over a million words in it and it will literally take this computer uh, like 5-10 days to run through it. So once you capture the handshake and you see what I'm talking about when I mean capture the handshake, um, you can leave the area but you do have to be in range of the Wi-Fi to do this attack and you do need a USB Wi-Fi adapter chip. I forget, failed to mention that in the beginning of the video but hopefully you knew that um, if you're hacking Wi-Fi you need a USB Wi-Fi adapter that's capable of going into monitor mode um, so you need to be in range of the Wi-Fi to be able to pick it up get the handshake and then you can leave the area and take as long as you need to to crack the password okay so um, the rock UTXT which is over a million words of common passwords and stolen passwords is in your file system um, for uh, Kali Linux, this would be your uh, computer. Then you want to go to share or user. Then you want to go to share. Then down here at the bottom, there's going to be a word list folder. And down here is your Rocky TXT. Uh, wi Fi Fern has some word lists, Durbuster. Um, this is for Wi-Fi hacking, so this might be a good Wi-Fi uh, list to try. Um, and if you manage to spend, you know, five days trying to crack a password, if you don't have a supercomputer or a gaming computer to do it with, um, and you fail to crack it, just use another list because you have infinite time. So it literally just takes seconds to get a handshake. So you're literally hacking Wi-Fi in seconds. Um, cracking the password is a different story. So uh, here's your word list. Um, I suggest using uh, Rock UTXT if you don't have a custom word list or adding um, passwords if you know about your target, adding passwords to the Rock UTXT list. Um, and again, you could create a huge word list um, by adding multiple password lists together. So go ahead and put that on your desktop. Then just go to Applications, Parrot, wireless testing uh, right here and Armageddon again you can use this tool on Kali Linux but um, some of the dependencies will not be installed go ahead and enter your root password if you're on Parrot 
and now you can see Armageddon is starting. Now this framework has multiple um, attack vectors for hacking um, uh, Wi-Fi. It has WEP attacks, um, WAP and WAP2 encryption attacks, um, even DOS attacks. So it's all around Wi-Fi hacking uh, tool suite and one of the best and easiest to use. So I'm just going to go ahead and press enter. This is where it's going to check for the dependencies, and as you can see, everything's going to be good to go because I'm on Parrot OS. And if you're on Wi-Fi, you just hit App, Get Install, and then the ones that you're missing inside of your terminal. So we're going to press number two because that's my chipset that um, can go into monitor mode. Now we need to place the chipset into monitor mode. As you can see, it's now in monitor mode, W-L-A-N-M-O-N. -N. Press enter to continue. Now, uh, as you can see, you could do DOS attacks, um, WEP attacks, which are very effective. But we are going to be doing a handshake or a handshake tool menu. So press five. This is called a deauthentication and capturing the handshake. Um, I'm not sure what the exact name for the attack is, but that's what you're doing. You're deauthenticating a device on the network, capturing a handshake. Um, when it tries to reconnect and then uh, cracking the handshake. So now we need to explore for targets. So four. Go ahead and press enter. Now this you want to let run for I would say 30 seconds to a minute. Um, that way you can make sure you get a good um, section of uh, or a good amount of um, Wi-Fi to choose from and you want to pay attention to this data because that um, column is the one uh, the Wi-Fi is that you're going to be able to attack um, that means they have people are active on them and there's communication active on them and uh, what you're, you're doing right now is actually scanning other Wi-Fi's um, and the devices on those networks. So basically what monitor mode does is let you capture all of the traffic um, flowing in the air. Instead of just capturing your traffic intended for you, you can grab whatever traffic is in the air floating by you. So I'm just going to let this run for a few more uh, seconds. Again, you want to run it for about 30 seconds to a minute to make sure you got everything. And then hit the box and hit Control C to stop the attack or the scanning. So you, now we, you can see we have a list and the ones with the stars next to it are the ones that we can attack. So um, this is the Wi-Fi that my friend gave me permission uh, to uh, test and hack um, so this is the one we are going to use now this um, uh, I will tell you the part all of this is legal so far and I will tell you the part where you have crossed the line and technically um, uh, did something illegal but um, that is just uh, my disclaimer people are going to do what they want and I know that so we're going to go ahead and uh, hit 14. And now we need to press 5. We have all of our information loaded up here. So we need to try to capture the handshake now. Go ahead and press enter. And then we're going to just try attack number method one. Go ahead and press enter. Um, you can change the value if you like, 
but 20 seconds should be enough. Go ahead and press enter and this is going to go ahead and launch the attack. Um, you want to see if it says handshake up here in the upper right corner and if it does that means you successfully captured a handshake. And that's what we're looking for. So you can see that I've captured one and that only took a matter of seconds. Congratulations, we got the handshake. This is the point where you can leave the area. And the point where you have um, done something illegal is when I press number five and just ran that attack because you're technically creating um, a deauthentication of service attack or DOS attack. And um, that is just the illegal part. It's a very small attack. And to be honest with you, you won't get in trouble for it, but you could get in trouble for it. So I just want to make that disclaimer here. So you can uh, change the file path of the root of the handshake that you captured if you want to. Um, if not, uh, just go ahead and press enter. If you want to change it, go ahead and type it out here. Go ahead and press enter again. And now we need to return to the main menu. Now again, this is the part where you can leave, take it to a computer with more um, uh, RAM and um, have at it for as long as you like. Um, you can literally run the Rocky TXT password on a standard uh, laptop for five days and it's probably still want to get through all the passwords so right now we're going to do an offline decryption menu uh, so we're going to hit six And this is where it has its um, hash cracking tools for cracking handshakes. We're just going to use air crack. Let's go ahead and press 1. Then it's going to ask you for the file path. Oh, it's going to ask you just press yes and yes because you want to use the captured uh, handshake that you have and the BSSID is correct. So you're going to hit yes. Now you drag your word list into your terminal. Then press enter. And then press enter to start it. And it's literally going to test every single um, word list until it found the key. And as you can see, it only took a few seconds. That's because uh, my friend let I know their password and I put their password on the list but um, if I wouldn't have been um, in the top you know 10 or whatever words it would have just kept running and running and running um, and this would have increased from 14 hours to a day to two days to five days um, and it would have kept going until it finds a password but you can see that I found the Wi-Fi password um, for this network uh, that my friend let me use so um, that's it that's exactly how you would hack Wi-Fi you can see it took a matter of seconds now again the cracking part of this could take days um, if you didn't find the right password but you can try as many wordless as you want um, and as long as you want as soon as you capture the handshake so uh, the time is on your side so eventually you will get in you will find the password and it will automatically try it a password every second for as, uh, as long as the word list is and rocky txt is literally a million words long or plus so um this is how you would hack wi-fi on parrot os um the only thing uh, i should have done is put the correct password a little bit further down um so you could have seen it run through the process a little bit longer, but um, that's not important. Uh, you would just see it run through word after word after word, and it tells you here, and then it finally says key found. So you would just type this in uh, the Wi-Fi, um, and you'll be able to get in.
So that is how you hack Wi-Fi with Parrot OS. Again, um, and ARM Armageddon. Again, this tool is available on Kali Linux. Um, hopefully, you found the video informative. If you did, go ahead and drop a like. Um, subscribe for more content. If you want to help the channel grow and help the community grow, find us on Facebook at Stealth Data Zero. Uh, join the group, like the page, um, share these videos on social media, get your friends involved. That will really help me out, help the channel grow. Um, you know, and as always, have fun, stay safe, and keep hacking.